Tuesday night, which means we've got plenty of local hoops in the Tuesday night league, spearheaded by Central High. Over 30 teams at three different locations getting some summer games in. And all the contests have a running clock, so the action just keeps moving. And we got a great matchup first as Central High taking on Austin. Johnny Davis came out to play tonight, gets the feed inside, and slams it home with authority. Central leads by five. And the future Badger got it done defensively, too. Austin with the steal. But here's Johnny. The chase down block keeps this game tied at 15. Austin keeping this one close. Mo Moses Idris goes baseline, finishes with a crafty move. And we're all tied up at 19. In the second half now, Central with a slim lead. Terrence Thompson will add to it. Drives and the foul. Count that bucket. Free throw makes it a nine-point game. Final seconds now, Johnny Davis adding more fireworks, rising up for the poster. He highlights the attack tonight, and the Red Raiders pick up a tough summer league win, 64-54. A little earlier in the schedule, we had Caledonia and PDC. Caledonia is off to a hot start out of the gate. Austin Clue with a crossover, scores on the beautiful up and under, and the Warriors with an early 8-2 lead. And then just moments later, Sam Privet comes up with a loose ball. He's taking things coast to coast with the finger roll. Caledonia up double digits. Midway through the first half now, Eli King driving baseline. He gets inside and will lay it off the glass. Caledonia rolls in this one, 75-51. Let's switch locations and head over to Viterbo for Bangor and Spring Grove. Early on, it's going to be Spring Grove's Caleb Griffin making the nice cut to free himself off the defender and knocks down the do. Spring Grove up four zip. But not long after, Bangor's Tanner Jones going to do the work himself. Crafty move, lays it off the glass for a two to tie the game. Close game in this one, but Spring Grove wins 36-31. And then just one court over, it's Westby here taking on La Crescent. We pick the action up in the second half. Westby's Rhett Stensling finds Dylan Elson in the corner, and he knocks down the triple. Ties the game at 23. Now a couple of minutes later, La Crescent has the Benson connection. Zach finds Owen down low for the easy layup. La Crescent takes a 31-29 lead at that point, and they would hold on to win this one 46 to 36.